Hello everyone, this is your friend Sakib. Welcome to Hunt Electronics. In today's technical session, we are going to discuss about the basic gate and universal gates. So, first we are going to study about the AND gate. So, the logic symbol for the AND gate as shown over in the PPT. So, where A and B is the input and the Y is Y is equal to A into B is equal to output. So, we can say that the output is the product of input. Let us study about the equivalent circuit. So, if we observe the equivalent circuit of AND gate, you can observe that there are a two switches which are in series to each other. Okay. So, first here it is battery, then A and B are two switches in series and output, you can see in the bulb. So, when this output lamp is going to turn on, when A and B, both the switches are in the close position, okay, so then only we, then only this output lamp can be turned on. So, so take the another example. Now you see in the second diagram. So the output lamp is turned on when when A and B, both the inputs are close. From this, we can conclude that when the input of AND gate, that is A and B, are logic 1, then only the output of the AND gate is going to be a logic 1. Okay, let us see the truth table of it. So, now we can see the truth table, which has A and B as the input and Y is equal to A into B is equal to output. So, when A and B both are at logic 0, the output is 0. When A is logic 0, B is logic 1, still the output is 0. When A is 1, B is 0, output 0. When A is 1, B is 1, the output is logic 1. So, we can say that when the both the inputs of AND gates are at the logic 1, then only we are going to get the output as a logic 1. Let us turn to the next OR gate. The symbol for the OR gate, it is as shown over here. So, you can see that A and B are the input and output is equal to Y is equal to A plus B. So, we can say that the output is a summation of the input. So, let us see the equivalent electrical circuit. So, in OR gate, if you observe the electrical circuit, the two switches, that is A and B, are parallel to each other. Okay. Now, when this output lamp is going to get turned on, when any one of the switch, okay, whether it is A or B, is at a logic one, then the output lamp is going to turn on. Let us see in the second diagram. Here you see that the A is open and B is closed. Okay, so whatever the current which is going to flow from the battery, it is going to flow through the switch B and the circuit is going to complete and the lamp is going to turn on. So from this we can conclude that if any one input of OR gate is a logic one, the output is also logic one. Let us see about the truth table. So in this truth table you can see that A and B is the input Y is equal to A plus B output over there. So you can say when the zero zero as the input Okay, when both the switch are open, the output is 0. In the second condition, A is 0, B is 1. So, B is at the logic 1, then hence the output is logic 1. In third case, A is 1, B is 0, hence the output is also 1. In the last, both, both the switches are at the logic 1, hence the output is 1. So, in short, when any one of the input of a OR gate is a logic 1, then the output is also a logic one. So next gate is NOT gate. So you can see the logic symbol for the NOT gate where A is the input and the complement of the A is the output. So NOT gate is a special type of gate which has got a single input and single output over there. Uh, it has got a different name. Some may say it is a complement gate or it is an inverse gate or it is an inverter type of the gate because when uh, the output of the NOT gate is always opposite to the input. So let us see the truth table of over here. 
not get over here you can see here uh, where the a is the input and y is equal to a complement is the output so when the out input is zero the output is one and when the input is one the output is zero hence we can say the output is always a complement or inverse or inverter so the inverter or often it is referred as a not gate and is a logic gate device that has an output opposite of the input now let us talk about the NAND gate so NAND gate is nothing but it is a combination of AND gate and NOT gate so if you add these two gate together you will get a NAND gate so you can see here A and B is the input over here this is your AND gate and this bubble indicates over here this is NOT so this is AND and here you have got a NOT and as we know that the output of NOT gate is always complement of the input so a and b equals to the output of AND gate is equal to y is equal to a into b and as the NOT is present over here so output becomes y is equal to a into b complement so let us see about the truth table over here so see you can you can observe over here when the output of AND gate is always 0 0 the output is 0 for AND gate but now here at the output there is a NOT gate attached over here so it becomes the complement so it becomes 1 when 0 1 input to the AND gate the output is 0 but now NOT gate is there the output becomes the logic one that is inverted then 1 0 the output is 0 of AND gate but NOT gate is present so it becomes 1 when 1 1 is the input for the AND gate the output over here becomes the 1 but now the output uh, output of the AND gate is given to the NOT gate so it becomes complement and it becomes the 0 over here now let us see about the NOR gate so the NOR gate is nothing but it is a combination of OR gate and NOT gate and if we combine it it becomes the NOR gate so you can see here this is OR gate and this NOT gate we have taken only the bubble so we know the output of OR gate is always the summation of the input so the A and B the output of OR gate is equal to Y is equal to A plus B and as the NOT is present now it, it is going to become the complement of the input that is Y is equal to A plus B complement let us see the truth table of it so here from the two table you can see here when the input are 0 0 the output of OR gate is also 0 but now here it is a NOT gate so it will be complement of it it becomes 1 when it is 0 1 the output of the OR gate is 1 but NOT gate is there now it becomes complement that is becomes 0 then 1 0 output you are getting 0 1 1 the output of a OR gate is 1 but now it is complemented it will become 0 okay so this is where NAND and NOR gate now let us talk about the universal gate so typically what is mean by the universal gate so we have got the three basic gates that is AND gate OR gate and NOT gate so if you are able to implement these three basic gate using a single gate that particular single gate is known as a universal gate so there are two basically universal gate one is known as a NAND and another is known as a NOR so let us look first for a NAND as a universal gate so we know this is a NOT gate which has got a, a as the input and output is the complement of a so or in in other uh, digital language if the out input is a uh, one the output will become zero if the input is zero output will become one now this we can impl implement using the NAND gate so NOT gate using the NAND gate so we know that the NOT gate has got a single input and it has got a single output so the input of the NAND gate has been short shortened over here so here has become the a as the input so both the input becomes a the output of the AND gate <coughs> becomes uh, A, Y is equal to A. Now the NOT gate is present over here, so it becomes Y is equal to A complement. Now you can compare the output of NOT gate and a NOT gate using the NAND, both are same. Hence we can implement a NOT gate using a NAND gate. Second, AND gate. Now we know the AND gate, the output is product of the input. Now let us implement the AND gate using a NAND gate. 
so here in your right hand side here is an AND gate using the NAND gate so A and B is the input to the first NAND gate which output of which it is nothing but Y is equal to A into B complement and output of the first NAND gate it is given to the second NAND gate and it becomes Y into A into B complement of complement so already here the complement was there Again, the NOD output of the NOD gate, it becomes the double complement and the double complement of any logic becomes gives the original logics. That's why here it becomes Y is equal to A and B. Now you can just cross verify the right hand side and left hand side of the AND gate. Both are same. So hence we can implement an AND gate using the NAND gate. Third, OR gate. So OR gate, the output is the summation of the input. Now let us implement using the NAND gate. So OR gate using the NAND gate. So for here we have got a three NAND gates over there. For first NAND gate the A is the input. Second NAND gate B is the input. The output of which becomes a, a complement and B complement. And this A complement and B complement is given to the third NAND gate. Where it becomes Y is equal to A complement of complement plus B complement of the complement. So you, it gives the original uh, logic over here so y is equal to a plus b so from this hence we can say that the NAND is as an universal gate because we can implement all the basic gate and not and nor using the NAND gate hence the NAND gate is known as a universal gate now let us talk about uh, nor gate as a universal gate so the first uh, let us implement the NOT gate using a nor gate so here you can see here as we know that the NOT gate has got a single input and it has got a single output so the input of NOR gate has been shortened over here here we have given A as the input the output of OR gate is equal to Y is equal to A but now here it is NOT is present so it becomes Y is equal to A complement now you can see the output of the NOT gate and the output of a NOR gate both are same over here left and right hand side so NOT gate using the NOR gate next is AND gate so the AND gate we know the output uh, is uh, nothing but a product of input now here we have taken a 3 NAND uh, OR gate NOR gate sorry so the first NOR gate we have given the input as A second NOR gate we have given the input of B so the output of that both is given to the third NOR gate so the output here becomes A complement then B complement these both are given over here so it becomes Y is equal to A complement plus B complement whole complement so the output the complement of complement it becomes Y is equal to A into B next OR gate now let us see OR gate using NOR gate so here we know the output of OR gate is always the summation of the input so here we have taken a two NOR gate for first NOR gate A and B is the input which output is nothing Y is equal to A plus B complement and this A plus B complement is given to the second NOR gate so the output is Y is equal to A plus B complement of complement so it is a double complement which is nothing but equals to the original logic that is Y is equal to A plus B now hence from this we can conclude that we can implement all the basic gate that is NOT gate AND gate OR gate or we can implement all the basic gates like NOT gate AND gate OR gate using the NOR gate Hence, the NOR is also known, NOR gate is also known as a universal gate. So, what is meant by the universal gate? Any gate which implements the basic gates like AND gate, OR gate and NOR gate using a particular gate, that particular gate is known as a universal gate. So, please thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for a more technical videos. Thank you.